Unbelievable. We got breaking news for you right now. Now, this is debuckophile, debuckophile. British forces, British forces in Syria, repeat, British forces are in Syria, and Assad's presidential compound is said to be under attack. Now, unconfirmed, again, I'm, these are unconfirmed, and this is the buck of file. And I'm looking for other sources now. Uh, so we may have to go back and recant, all right? But for right now, unconfirmed, but first reports from the British, the French, and the Turkish sources, to buck a file is saying that British special operation forces have crossed from Turkey into northern Syria. Then they put the wrong date here, but then they have the right date the rest of the way, and this is dated today. They say that on Tuesday, May 26th, uh, advanced up to 10 kilometers inside the country, the same sources are reporting that heavy fighting around the Presidential Guard's compound on the outskirts of Damascus. Now, Debucca Files military sources noted that this compound exists to defend Bashar Assad's presidential palace on Mount Qasim, overlooking Damascus. British and Gulf TV stations are again running interviews with dozens of Syrian soldiers taking prisoner by rebel forces and transferred to free Syrian army centers in South Turkey. But this time they are being aired in conjunction with those two developments, indicating pivotal and coordinated military action inside the embattled country of Syria, or even the start of the Western intervention against Assad's regime. Now, late Tuesday, Gulf military sources confirmed the British, the presence of British special forces in Syria. Our military sources estimate that the British military drive into Syria, if confirmed, is designed to establish the first safe zone along the Syrian-Turkish border, to be followed by more Western military incursions to establish additional zones of safe asylum in other parts of Syria. This follow-up action would depend substantially on Syrian, Russian, and Iranian, and Hezbollah responses to the initial stage of the operation. In other words, the British forces have entered into Syria. There's already been interviews on British television and Turkish television with Syrian soldiers that were captured by the rebels, and they've been interviewed. There is fighting outside of Damascus, and we have other confirmation that that is true. There is fighting going on right now today on this June the 26th, 2012. So we have a misprint up here. But we know that this is happening now. <clears throat> that we have other conform, confirmed sources. Give me one second. Other confirming uh, that their fighting is going on. Now, the question is, as British forces have entered into Syria and are fighting just outside Damascus, and there is heavy fighting going on, uh, trying to assault the President Assad's presidential co compound, the question is, what will be Syria's, Russia, and Iran, and Hezbollah's response? Or any. Now, the reported British incursion, if confirmed, occurred at the tail end of Russian President Vladimir Putin's 24 hour visit to Israel. So, see, this shows you they've got the date wrong in the article when they said May 26, because they're really talking about today, June 26. Why do I know that? Because Vladimir Putin visited Israel yesterday and was leaving. So that is what happened. So they're saying that the British uh, special op forces are in Syria now. And Putin had a quick 24-hour visit 
and uh, left this morning, Tuesday morning, June 26th. So as he's leaving, the British are coming in. Was he telling Israel, go ahead and send your troops? Was he saying to uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, don't, you better tell the British, the Americans, don't send troops? Or did he not know anything about it? And the British came on in. But he went to Israel. He was there 24 hours. He left this morning. As Vladimir Putin left Jerusalem, British special ops soldiers were advancing through Syria. Uh, so Vladimir Putin's 24-hour visit to Israel Tuesday morning, he left. It would have posed a direct challenge to his repeated warning that Moscow would not tolerate Western military intervention in Syria and actively prevent it. Now, similar warnings have been issued from Iran. As for the timing, the double military drive against Assad also occurred hours before a NATO consultation. Today, June 26th, NATO is going to meet about the airplane shot down by Syrian forces shooting down the Turkish plane. These two pronged operations, the report that British incursion has begun and major clash at the front door of Assad's presidential palace would appear to be designed to widen the cracks in his regime and to speed up his final breakup. So let's recap the situation. Today is June 26, 2012. Vladimir Putin flew into Jerusalem, spent 24 hours there meeting with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. As Putin, and while Putin was there, he was saying, nobody from the West better not attack Syria. As Putin was, and they also talked about Egypt and Mohammed Mercy taking over Egypt and the fact that he's already come out and said he wants to do away with the peace accord, the Camp David peace accord that was signed, uh, which was brokered by President Jimmy Carter in 1979 and was signed be between Israeli Prime Minister Menachem Begin and Egypt's President Anwar Sadat. Later, Sadat was assassinated. That's how Jose Mubarak took over because he was the vice president. He took over Egypt and has maintained power for 32 years until he was removed in the Arab Spring, in the uprising, which is prophesied in the Bible in Daniel 11, 41 through 45, and specifically Egypt, if you read Isaiah 19, 1 through 4. Now, today, Putin gets on a plane and leaves Jerusalem. As he's leaving, British troops have already come through Turkey into Syria and have begun to push forward deep, deep, deep into Syria. Fighting's going on along around the outskirts of Damascus, including the presidential palace of Bashar Assad is being attacked. British soldiers are involved. Also today, while the British are coming into Syria and Putin is leaving Jerusalem, NATO is meeting to discuss why Syria shot down the plane, the Turkish plane. Folks, the Middle East, it has begun. We're not talking about just the uprising and the destruction of Damascus. We're talking about a Middle East war. What will Russia do now? What will Iran do now? What will Syria do now? What will Hezbollah do now? What will Mohammed Mursi do now? What? Just stay right where you're at. I want you to just relax. Ask yourself, what will you do now? Are you saved? See, we're living in the Saturday evening of time. The clock's just about ready to strike midnight. Christ is at the door. I don't know the day nor the hour, but I can definitely see the day approaching. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Send me a personal message. I want to be saved. We had two saved on the air yesterday. Send me a personal, 